What the hell is this? Bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Did you know about this? Like Mike, I'm talking to you. Where's Lancer? I don't know, boss. Mike, you friends with this guy? Yeah. Close? Enough. He's not a sicko. He's a sweet, gentle guy. I don't know where this is coming from. Well, he's fired. Pat, find me Lancer. Sid. He's asking his girlfriend to marry him tonight. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I will spoil his evening. She don't want to marry that guy. Sid, we wait? At least let me tell him. anything? No. Come on in. I was just about to have some tea. You want some? Sure. So? <laughs> Look, this could be Sid talking yet. So no matter how bad it sounds, it could be worse. He hated it. Adrian, what's happening to you here? Holden intends to make many phone calls during the course of the novel, but actually completes few. What do you think Holden really needs from Sally when he finally calls her? Miss Harris? Miss Harris. Miss Harris. Good morning. It's afternoon. I have good news for you, Miss Harris. You don't snore. You blow like a wave. <laughs> Gosh, Mr. Marley, I feel really badly to have uh, slept in your class. Bad, Miss Harris, not badly. Do you know why that is? Miss Fielding. Um, because in this case, feel is used as a linking verb, and linking verbs are modified by adjectives, not adverbs. You are a distinguished addition to our school, Miss Fielding. However, when you shine, you expose the dullness of the rest of the students, like Gatsby's slight across the bay, a shrill reminder of our own Mediocrity. Oh. I'm late. Tonight? I can't tonight, Lois. What's the matter? Your mom won't let you? Pick you up after class.
Teresa. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Well, you just asked me to dinner. Well, my dad won't be home. I just thought that if you weren't busy. I'm busy. Some other time. Jackson. Yeah? Johnson. Present. Lawrence. Here. <laughs> Loomis. Yo. Martinez. Yeah, present. Kurt. I'm not very good Here. with parents. Newman. But as long as your father won't be there, Brian. I'll come. Here. You will? Tardy again, Lisa. You know the rules. Now? Now, Lisa. All right, you go west on Mulholland to Schuyler Canyon Road, turn right, and go exactly 2.1 miles to Juniper, then go left, and it's a ways down, but it's the first house on the left. You can't miss it. Oh, wow, that's in the middle of nowhere. Could your sudden recovery have anything to do with the fact you're being left alone tonight? Can't a person go well around here without being accused of things? Open up. But I'm better. You have the number I can be reached? Yes, it's in my purse. I shouldn't be too long. I only have two or three appointments. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon. You want to go to the movies, then? Sure. Have a nice time, Dad. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too, sweetheart. I'm going to be calling you often. Stop worrying. You've left this alone lots of times. Not without a housekeeper. I'm grown up now. And besides, it's only for one night. Have a good time and good luck. Hey. You love me, and don't forget it. <laughs> come here, Meredith. Come Hello. Hi, Robin. I'm great, yeah. How are you? Robin, uh, you know I'm cooking you dinner tonight. We have a date. No, it wasn't penciled in. It'll keep. Uh, how about a drink? Robin, I'm coming over and I'm picking you up. Be ready.
Hi, Lisa. Way up high, down low, lay cool. Soulmates, kiddo. Hi. You, Kim? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Lisa just told me you girls are going to be alone tonight. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have let her come over here. It's in the middle of nowhere. That's Meredith. Well, at least you'll be safe. I'll be by promptly at 11.30. 11.30? Mom, that is way too early. 11.30. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I love being trusted. What's for dinner? Um, I gave uh, your number to my boyfriend. I hope you don't mind. You have a boyfriend? Sure. <laughs> Kim with the white line has never had a boyfriend. Julia, isn't it time for Sesame Street? Well, I've never gone to school with guys. <laughs> uh, you have to get a life, Kim. Yeah. Living in California now. Um, forget about dinner. Kind of on a diet. What's there to do around here? Dream, what's wrong? I lost my job. Oh no. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, well. Let's drink to us. I love you, Robin. Adrian, you and I, we have to have a talk. Oh, wait, wait. Uh... Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. We're here? No, it's okay. What are you doing? Just, Adrian, please, just... Adrian, I don't want it, thank you. I wonder if your dad would adopt me. Well, maybe I'll let you drive it sometime. You mean he lets you drive it? Around the neighborhood. That would be so choice. So, uh, what else is there to do around here? Um, the cable's not connected yet. We could listen to records. You want to get stoned? You have gotten stoned before, right? Be still, my heart. <sighs> the wind. Um, I'm gonna have to use the phone soon. Sure. The store sticks. I might need some help. Great. What if you were in here alone? You want to buy some mangoes? Uh, no, thank you. Kim, why don't you why don't you get your dad and your brothers? I'm Randy. I sell fruit and vegetables. I live just down the road. You want to buy some? No, thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on, Meredith. Come on. Why are you still there? You were supposed to be here already. Well, hurry up. I 
got an idea. Give me a number. Any number. Julia? 555 five, five, four, eight, seven. It's a speaker phone. Hello? Hello? Is my daddy there? Who's this? <laughs> my daddy said he picked me up after the movies. And he's not here. Honey, you have the wrong number. But I don't have any more money. And all the other kids are gone. Well, you give me the number you're dialing and I'll call for you. It's five 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 one six three seven. Thank you very much. Very creative. Okay, it's my turn. Okay, find me a man's number. Don't make it a Smith or Jones. Okay. okay. Here's one. Lancer. Adrian Lancer. Sounds sexy. Man for you, girl. Robin, I need you desperately. Adrian, I don't want somebody to need me desperately. What I need is somebody who's strong. I can be strong. You're strong? Look yeah. at you, Adrian. Look at yourself. You're not strong. Look, Robin. If I know that your love will be my I'm not ready for this. Don't say that. It's true. It's not true. It's true. It's true. I don't love you, okay? I don't love you. I don't love you. I don't love you, Adrian. I don't. Adrian, do you want me to get that? Hello? Um, is Adrian Lancer there? Um, he's in the shower. Who is this? In the shower, huh? It's really important. Are you from the studio? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, um... Okay, hold on one second. <laughs> Adrian, it's somebody from the studio on the phone. She says it's important. What's that? It's music. Hang up. No, listen. It's scary. I'm gonna go make some popcorn. Hollow and it gets good.
was scary. Julia, your hands. I'm okay. I'm sorry. Are we having a barbecue? Yeah, barbecued oven mints. How about barbecue brains, yours? Hey, the phone. The music stopped. Hello? 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 Is anyone there? You had a naked man at your fingertips and you hung up? <laughs> Let's call somebody else. Yeah. Let's call somebody else. But you know what? I have a great game. What's that? Um, I saw what you did. I saw what you did, and I know who you are. What? How? Honey, who is it? I saw what you did, and I know who you are. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> you know what they were doing? What were they doing? <laughs> You did, and I know who you are. You did? What was that? You know what I know. Hey, is this costing me two dollars? Because if it is, I... You won't be disappointed. What do you look like? Well, I've got thick, dark hair, tall, flashing green eyes. What color panties are you wearing? I have to use the phone. Um, Julia, let's go upstairs. Come on. Hello? Louis? Yo, Harris. You were supposed to be here an hour ago. Oh, we're wrecked. I don't believe this. No, believe it. What am I supposed to do now? Your homework? It's okay. It's probably just a coyote. I can eat him. Will you stop barking? If you don't go, I'll go. Believe this. All right, all right. Damn, God! 
guy's still out there. What guy? Nobody, Julia. Don't worry about it. Oh, he was this really scary-looking guy with this long, crazy hair and no teeth. He had teeth. What guy? Mango Man. <laughs> oh, great. Now she's gonna have nightmares. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. You know what you need, Cam? You need a boyfriend. But you're never gonna catch anybody with this convent look. It's not in yet. Well, I've been wearing a uniform all my life. Hey, Kim, what does your dad do? Um, he used to work for the Foreign Service at um, U.S. embassies all over the place. And now he's a consultant on South American affairs. Kimberly Fielding, you're a woman of substance. You've traveled the world. What you need is someone who appreciates you. Like an older guy. Like the guy with the weird music. What was his name? Um, Adrian. Adrian something. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Adrian Lancer. See? Definitely soulmates, kiddo. Oh, what do I say to him? Just be yourself. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? What kind of a reception is that? You just couldn't have come at a worse time. I guess. What happened to you? What are you doing here anyhow? A contract, don't you remember? Didn't Liz call you? I thought that was next week. Yeah, well, <laughs> they moved it up. That won't be in your way. Hey, Steve. I know you're my brother, man, but you just can't come walking in here anytime you feel like it. Hey, I thought you wanted me here. It's not a hotel.
Yeah. Want to talk? So you uh, asked her to marry you, huh? I saw the ring on the table. Why don't you forget it? Okay. Well, <laughs> kind of beat. Mind if I take a shower? Or would that be too much of an imposition? Is that a yes or a no? Someone like him. Older guys like a woman to look like a woman. Time for bed, Julia. Let's call Adrian again. I saw what you did, and I know who you are. No, not now. Who's this? Uh, I know who you are. I saw what you did. I said, who is this? It's, um, <clears throat> it's, it's Cam, Adrian. You know me? I know who you are. And I love your music. You've heard my music? Yes. What do you want from me? You'll find out. When? I don't know, but it won't be long. Where are you calling me from? Are you across the street? I'll never tell. What do you want from me? <laughs> oh, honey, he wants you. <laughs> Stephen. Oh, okay. oh God, it's turn okay. off the lights, Adrian. man. It's okay, I'm here. It's, 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 it's right. not okay. Turn them off. Turn off the lights. They're watching. Who's watching? Uh. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Want me to get it? No. No. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Adrian? Yeah, you like my music? Yeah, I thought it was really interesting. I hear it, you know, all around me. I do too, sometimes. Let's meet, Kim. Anywhere you want. He wants to meet. Yes, 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 yes. Isn't that what you want? Um, I don't know. I'll have to call you back. Are you going to make this difficult, Kim? What do you mean? Uh, I'll do anything you want. I'll have to call you back. Oh! Buddy! Yeah. He wants you! Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe he wants to meet. I wonder what he looks like. Don't get too excited. You know, the greatest voices in the world have come out of dogs' heads with dogs' breath. Yes, but my dad always told me that the most important part about being in the Foreign Service was being able to read between the lines. What does your diplomatic ear tell you about this guy? That I like him. <coughs> That's Julia. Whenever she has a bad dream, she screams to wake herself up. I'll be right back. I hope he breaks out really bad. Badly. What was it this time? Mango Man? Dad would let me sleep with Meredith. Dad treats you like a baby. You have to stop being a baby, Julia. Did you talk to Adrian? What did he sound like? Kimberly Fielding, are you a woman or a mouse? You like Adrian, don't you? Let's go see him. What? Yeah, let's. How? I can think of one red hot automobile that's just waiting for an adventure. I can't drive by myself. I only have a learner's permit. That only means you may not drive by yourself. Come on, we don't even have to go in. We could just drive by his house, okay? I mean, maybe we can see him through a window, okay? You said you wanted to know what he looked like. What about the woman on the phone? The maid. Oh, would he have had that little sexy conversation with us if she was still around? Well, what do I say to him? We're not getting out of the car, remember? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's do it. Yeah! yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'm really glad you came over for dinner. Me too. Maybe next time we'll eat. Hey, wait! Wait. Maybe you should take all that crap off your face. You look a whole lot better without it.
Hazel Street, isn't it? Broadview? Look at the map. I can't even tell where we are on this map. Just keep going. Now we're only gonna drive by, right? Right. You don't sound so sure. You've got the wheel. Okay, okay, well maybe we'll stop. But we're not getting out of the car, right? Right. So, um, why'd you bother getting all decked out? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Amy. This is uh, Stephen Lancer. Oh, hi, Stephen. Is Robin there? No, she's not. She's at Adrian's. Was. They had a fight. She's not home yet? Uh-uh. You have any idea where she might be? She left in kind of a hurry, I guess. Uh, she left her purse. And... Well, she couldn't have gone far without a car. I'm sorry, what did she say? I said she couldn't have gone far without a car. It's in the shop. Adrian picked her up. Okay, Amy, thanks. Uh, tell her I call. Sure. I didn't mean to startle you. I was just going to ask you if you wanted to get a burger. So that was uh, Liz, huh, I guess, on the phone? Yeah. A baby has colic. And you know what a hypochondriac I am. As soon as I put down the phone, I got a cramp. <laughs> I guess that's Pasadena on the burger, huh? Yeah. You got a light? I gotta take a walk. You get to stay in the car.
you like us? I don't think he's my type. He looks sensitive. Well, what about me? Do you think he's my type? Why don't you go talk to him and find out? Are you crazy? I would. You would what? After driving all the way out here and putting on a nice dress, I'd go talk to him. Well, I'm not you. I'll never be a better chance. <sighs> He's gone. That's it. Let's get out of here. No, wait! Are you just gonna let a golden opportunity just slip through your hands? Yes! It won't be this tomorrow. There's the front door. Go for it. And what do I say to him? You're the diplomat's daughter. You'll figure it out. No! I was just about to knock. <laughs> um, my car broke down. I've been driving around and I ran out of gas or something. I saw your light on. Do you want to use the phone? But if it's an inconvenience, I no, can... No, you can use my phone. <laughs> this is, um, really nice of you. <laughs> Phone's right there. Yeah, thanks. Sure. Hi, it's me. Yeah, um, the car broke down. Can you come get me? Great. Uh, I'm at Adrian's. It's on Broadview off of Highland. Great, fine. Thanks. It shouldn't be that long. <laughs> I live nearby. Why don't you sit down? Thanks. What's your name? Um, Ellen. Ellen Jones. Ellen Jones. Uh -huh. That's a nice name. Have we ever met before, Ellen? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I saw you're a musician. How do you know? Oh, a lucky guess. <laughs> I saw your guitar over there. What else have you seen, Ellen? Did you see what a wonderful view I've got? Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. <laughs> you know what makes it real wonderful? is when you turn off the light. Adrian? Adrian, open uh, the door. Listen, I'm sorry, but I, I think I better be going. Adrian, it's me, Steven. Who are you? Nobody.
Hey, what's going on around here? Who is she? What, you don't know? How should I know? What did she tell you? She didn't tell me anything. What are you talking about? Nothing. She just showed up, Stephen. I've never seen her before. Why don't you just leave me alone? Adrian. What? I lied. About the contract. I'm here because Robin asked me to come. She what? She called me up a few days ago. She's concerned there might be something wrong with you. Oh. She thinks you need help. But every time she brings it up, you withdraw. I told her, Adrian. She knows. You told her? Well, I had to. Don't you understand? She deserves to know. Look, buddy, you've had some serious problems, damn it. Oh, God. You don't know what you've done. Look, Adrian. I've worked with Robin for a long time. She's tough. She'll stick with you through this. Why don't you take her with you a couple of times to the doctor? It's too late for that, Stephen. She's not going to be going with me to any doctor. I'm going to have bad dreams. So am I. Can I sleep with you tonight? No, Julia, go to bed. Look, I'll come tuck you in in a minute, OK? You're not going to tell your dad, are you? No, I won't have to. He'll notice it all on his own. Yeah, but um, we can tell him that we did it driving around the yard. We hit a tree or something. Look, what difference does it make? I'm the one who's going to get in trouble. Oh. Dads tell other dads. That's the way it works. Or in this case, dads tell moms. And then I'll never get out of the house. Oh, well, look, I'll just tell them it was all my idea, all right? I forced you. Oh, my mom will buy that. I lost my purse. I have to tell them now, don't you see? It's got everything in it. It has my learner's permit, everything. You could have left it anywhere. You're really going to get me in a lot of trouble. <sighs> Look, I've never lied to my dad, all right? Not about anything like this. And not telling him is the same thing. What kind of friend are you? Come on. We'll scrape some bark off a tree. We are going to be the best of friends. I'm serious. be here at eight. I ran into a little trouble. What's the deal? <laughs> you stink of beer and dope. <laughs> you want some? No. Come on, let's go. Hey. Lisa, are we in a relationship or what? Answer me, Lisa. Answer me! I can't tonight, Louis. I'm with my friend. <laughs> well, all right. I, I guess we're going to have to chill this one out. Hey.
Hey, Louis. I'm sure you'll find someone who deserves you. <laughs> um, driver? Um. <laughs> I think uh, martial law is the answer for those guys. Look, I feel terrible about tonight, okay? So don't make me feel any worse. So you want to get together tomorrow? I don't think so, Lisa. Why? I thought we were friends. We are friends. I thought you came to my house because you liked me. I came to your house so that I could meet Louis. <sighs> but uh, you know that already. My mother doesn't like him. <sighs> Listen, Kim. Nobody's perfect. You know, maybe I'm wasting my time with Lewis, you know, guys like him. We're not kids anymore. That's your mom. Well. Gotta go. Lisa, wait. Adrian? You're the most creative person I've ever met. Everything you try to do, you do better than anybody I've ever known. <sighs> but you're utterly defenseless. You let the bad in with the good. It's a damn curse, isn't it? But just think, just think how long you've had it under control. And look, if it ever starts to overwhelm you again, tell me about it. Let me help. Two of us stick together through it until it's okay. Stephen, I just gotta get a little sleep. Okay. I'll be outside yeah. if you need me, right outside.
Adrian? Adrian? Adrian. Oh. Julia? Julia, you can't sleep with me every time you have a bad dream. I told you that. Kimmy. What are you doing in there? I had a bad dream. What was it this time? The guy without teeth. He had teeth, Julia. Not in my dream. Is that a car? 
car? Come on. Let's go inside. Wait. It was about Mom, too. Mom? You didn't even know her. I dream about her a lot. Come on, Julie, you can sleep with me tonight, but this is the last time, okay? From now on, you have to promise me that you will stop behaving like a baby. You're not a baby anymore, Julia. Come on. So what did you do all evening? We watched TV. What else is there to do? Did your friend have her boyfriend over? No. Neither did I. That's what you're getting at. We watched TV. That's all. Look out! Could I see your driver's license and registration? Yeah. What'd I do, officer? You ran a red light. Where? The mall hollering in Beverly Glen. What, all the way back there? Yeah, it took me that long to catch up with you. Adrian Lancer. Trouble 92707. Code 6, Charles, exercise extreme caution. Repeat, Code 6, Charles, exercise extreme caution. No risk, Smitty. This guy tortured his parents. We just got a call from his brother. You hear me? Headed west on Mulholland. and our boy's running.
karma. Carmen's bringing her kids by tomorrow night for you to babysit. Mom, it's Saturday night. Did you have plans? No. I could have. And now a news update. Police have attempted to apprehend a suspect in connection with the body found earlier this evening. The suspect, one Adrian Lancer of West Hollywood, engaged veteran policeman oh Matt Smitty in a high-speed chase on Mulholland Drive. What is it, Lisa? The chase ended when Lancer lost control of his car and plummeted nearly 100 feet to a fiery death. The police were operating on a tip from the suspect's brother, Stephen Lancer. Apparently, the suspect had a long history of mental illness and had been institutionalized after setting a series of fires, one which resulted in the death of his parents. The body found earlier this evening has now been identified as Robin Griffin, the suspect's girlfriend. We'll keep you informed as to any further developments. Tracy? Well, thank you, Scott. We'll return in a moment with what Lisa, what is it? Do you know something about this? Doing with their lottery winnings. Lisa? No, it, it's just horrible and scary, that's all. I just wish things had been a little different. Just about the car. I like Lisa. Kimmy? Hmm? You're going up, too. How's that? Well, with the boys. You're not a little girl anymore. No, I guess not. <laughs> How does it feel? Scary. A little scary. That's what I thought. If Mom were around, she could help, couldn't she? Yeah, she could. She sure could. <sighs> but she's not, so it's all up to you. Me? Yes, you. How can I help you? By going to sleep. All right. <laughs> I forgot Meredith. She's still in the pantry. I'll go let her out. No bad dreams, OK? OK. I know who you are. Adrian? I came out here to return your wallet. It's on the stairs. I've been waiting for you, Kim. How did you get in? Come over here, Kim. Where? In here. We'll talk. I don't think so. Kimmy? 
What? Who are you talking to? Nobody, Julia. Go to sleep. Adrian? Adrian? Your hand. What happened? Are you all right? It's nothing. I'm sorry. You've come such a long way. What do you want from me? Why have you been calling me? It was a game, Adrian. A game? Yes, a stupid game. We picked your name out of a phone book and called you. We called about 20 different people saying the same thing. You just sounded the nicest, and I liked your music. So we drove by your house. I only wanted to see you, to talk to you. You've never seen me before, have you? I can't apologize enough. Please, let me take care of your hand, do something for you. <laughs> So what are you saying? The guy is whacked. The police, they drove after him and he drove off a cliff. He said he killed himself. Lisa, he's not dead. He was just here. Julia! No, stop! We have to get out! 
Hands off them. Oh. Adrian, one more. Hear me? <laughs> Is Julia in her... She's asleep already. I'm going to go in there and stay with her. Kim.
Why did you do it? Lisa? Kim, I know who you are. You killed my brother. <laughs>